I'm going to activate the camera by long pressing the shutter button here. A little bit of haptic feedback vibration. Easy to use, just point it, press the shutter button halfway to get focus, and then press it all the way to take the photo. Take a couple extras. See if I use the volume key. Nope, no digital zoom there. Got some settings here. Pretty cool looking interface. I'm going to switch to video mode. And again, let's take a look at the uh, kind of settings we have. Make sure it's. There we go. YouTube HD. Did I get that? There we go. And let's start the video. And now we're recording what should be an HD, 720p HD video. And we'll stop it. Now let's see if we can play it back. So far so good. Let's see if we're able to swipe back and forth or not. Nope, doesn't look like we can get to the doesn't look like we can get to the photos. So let's go back to the camera mode and see if we can navigate through the pictures like that. Here we go. Oh we could, I was just going the wrong way. And of course, multi touch zooming as well. If I tap this on-screen control here, we'll get the main menu with the uh, cool 3D snap into place scrolling. Take a look at some of the things that are in there. You know, of course, you got Google Maps and navigation, YouTube client, you know, things like T-Mobile's My Account, Google Goggles, Google Earth that even comes preloaded, which is kind of cool. Just jump into Maps. Of course, you have the uh, multi-touch zooming control and everything. Layers, and we'll turn on satellite. And since we're looking at I-95, let's turn on traffic as well. You can see there's a little bit of backup here on the ramps. How it knows that is beyond me, but it's pretty cool. As you might expect, you can do voice search. Dairy Queen. And hopefully that will bring up local Dairy Queen results. And there we go. Under the local tab, that is indeed the closest Dairy Queen. And you can see we can map directions and things like that. Jump back to the home screen, and before I forget, let's show you some of the pre-installed wallpapers. These are the static ones. Some of these are new to me, but uh, some of these other ones, once you get from about here, I've seen them before on other devices. But uh, these first few are kind of cool looking. And of course we also have some live wallpapers to choose from. Seen all these before. Let's pick the water one. We'll set that so you can see what it looks like. You can see the water ripples wherever I touch. I'm running the Twitter for Android client here. I just added uh, one of my accounts and I'm going to tell it to synchronize with existing contacts. I'm not going to import all the contacts because that would make a mess. Really strange though, um, just like we have saw in other versions of the official Twitter client, doesn't appear to be any landscape support which is uh, quite sad. Uh, with the fact that they're installing it ahead of time on this device is really odd if it doesn't support landscape mode. In any event, it has swipes, so we'll be able to use that anyway. Here is a tweet. Of course, that's not here, is it? Let's fix that. From the T 
global G2. Oops, that's a 3. So I want to fix that here. And I do want to show you that you can, of course, use the optical D-pad here to edit. So you can see I'm moving the cursor. You know, I can tap somewhere and then I can move left and right quite easily to delete wherever needed. And I'm just going to press update and send out that tweet. And quickly before I forget, just going to show you here's the contact system with uh, photos and everything. And of course you also have your favorites, you know, a subset that you can easily get to. There's a lot of widgets that you can use for putting these on the home screen for even faster access. Let's see if I can grab one here. Missing uh, most of the HTC Sense things here though. You can still use shortcuts. And then you have quick access, you have to dial to see the contact, send a message, or send Gmail. So that's my quick look at the HTC G2 for T-Mobile USA. It's on sale now for $199.99. Really nice hardware. Um, really quite pleased with it. I think you could use a little bit of a stiffer spring in the uh, this mechanism for the sliding um, lift and slide keyboard and display mechanism, but I, I really think it's very nice overall. I think a lot of people are really going to enjoy this device. Not as fast as the one gigahertz devices I've seen out there, you know, in terms of like you know, browser responsiveness, but it seems really, really solid otherwise. So again, that's the T-Mobile G2 by HTC, and I'm Michael Oral from MobileBurn.com.